वेलकम टू आचार व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो टूटोरियल वी हैव कवर्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट द रिसेंट एडवांस इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक कैंसर वी हैव ट्राई टू कवर एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल इंक्लूडिंग द लिफ्नो स्टेशन टाइप ऑफ गैस्ट्रेक्टमी डी वन डी टू एंड डी टू प्लस लिफेनेक्टमी द कीमोथेरेपी रेजिमन इन कार्सिनोमा स्टमक टाइप ऑफ गैस्ट्रेक्टमी एंड ब्रीफली द रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन मैथड आफ्टर द गैस्ट्रेक्टमी we have designed this video tutorial in the with the intent that it will clarify all the doubts in the mind of medical student especially preparing for the neat post graduation and neat super specialty courses and surgical trainees we hope that this video tutorial will add some new insight to your knowledge the highlights of this video tutorial will be ajcc classification anatomy tnm staging the limb rotation according to the japanese classification the extent of limb dissection as per the japanese uh, latest classification lab versus open uh, distal gastrectomy in early and uh, advanced gastric cancer we will discuss mainly the class 1 uh, and class 2 jcog uh, 12 uh, studies and uh, uh, then we will discuss about peripheral chemotherapy Uh, and reconstruction option and uh, core in practice guidelines that we have covered in the last part of the video tutorial gastric cancer is the third leading cause of death in the world one major factor in the global decline of the gastric cancer is uh, because of the uh, present treatment available for the h pylori the discovery of h pylori uh, was in 1980 by dr barry warren and robin uh, robin russell for which they won the nobel prize and after that gradually there is a decline in the gastric cancer worldwide japan and south korea they are two uh, they are two regions with highest incidence of gastric cancer in the world which is tenfold as compared to the rest of the world and that's why they are the leading centers in the treatment of gastric cancer and japanese and korean guidelines are uh, being followed worldwide for the treatment of gastric cancer so uh, As per AGC eight, the tumor involving the esophageal gastric junction with tumor epicenter no more than two centimeter into proximal stomach is stage esophageal esophageal cancer. It is similar as we have discussed in the uh, proximal uh, uh, gastrectomy video also. That is, severe type one and type two are staged and treated as esophageal cancer. While the esophageal gastric uh, junction tumor with epicenter located more than two centimeters of proximal stomach are staged and managed as per the guidelines for the gastric cancer. So, severe type one and type two uh, is management as per the esophageal cancer, and severe type three as per the uh, gastric cancer. Cardiac cancer not involving the esophageal gastric junction are staged as stomach cancer. In the fig A, if tumor epicenter is uh, more than two centimeter from the esophageal gastric junction, or tumor located within two centimeter esophageal esophageal gastric junction, but does not involve the esophageal gastric junction, that will be tumor B. They will be labeled and managed as per the uh, gastric cancer guidelines. Uh, to the uh, classification of regional lymph nodes as per the AGC eight. Uh, in the latest edition of American Joint Committee on Cancer, that is AJCC eight, they have recommended that at least sixteen regional lymph nodes be removed or assessed pathologically, and more than thirty are desirable for complete pathological assessment for the uh, carcinoma st stomach. The direct extension into liver, transverse colon, pancreas, or under surface of diaphragm. Is T for B, not M1. That is important to understand. That direct extension into the adjoining organs, that is liver, transverse colon, pancreas, and diaphragm, is a locally advanced disease. That is T for B, but is not a metastatic disease. The positive pattern of cytology will be M1, and non-regional lymph node will include retropancreatic, pancreatic duodenal, peripancreatic, superior mesenteric, middle colic, paraaortic. or retroperitoneal there is a little bit discrepancy uh, in the ajcc and japanese classification uh, and that we will uh, discover like uh, retropancreatic will be station 13 uh, in the uh, japanese classification and uh, so on so sir, in the uh, subsequent part of the videos we have covered in detail about the lymph node station and type of lipidectomy that is required in the ca stomach viewers please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel 
and uh, share the content again coming on the AGC uh, 8 recommendation the diagnostic laparoscopy and peritoneal washing in which uh, be <coughs> after doing the diagnostic laparoscopy be uh, installed 200 ml of NS and after agitating the abdomen thorough agitating of the abdomen we aspirate the content and send for it uh, send the fluid for the uh, cytology if the cytology comes positive then this patient will be labeled as uh, metast uh, metastatic that will be pathologically M1 and further uh, surgery is not warranted that because it will not add to the survival benefits. Okay. Additional factors recommended uh, in AGC level with evidence level 3, CEA and cancer antigen 19.9, that is CA 99. Elevated CA, it is a no independent prognostic value but may be useful in the surveillance that is uh, if the tumor uh, level are rising in the uh, post-operative period, period that means it uh, is a signal a bad signal and uh, a signal for recurrence uh, but the treatment decisions are not affected by the pre-operative uh, tumor markers the microsatellite instability index if it is high it gives a better overall prognosis but it has no independent prognostic value similarly HER2 it has no independent prognostic value but if the patient is HER2 positive, we can give HER2 directed therapy. So TNF staging as per the AJCC A tradition, uh, it is uh, just to cover it theoretically. TX primary tumor cannot be assessed. T0 no evidence of primary tumor. TIS, TIS it is intraepithelial tumor without invasion of the lamina propria. T1 A, T1 is further divided to T1 A and B. T1 is when the tumor invades the lamina propria and muscular mucosa or some mucosa. T1A when the tumor invades the lamina propria or muscular mucosa and T1B is in the submucosa. T2 as I have already said in the other video tutorial, mus muscle layer involvement is T2 in all the organs except for the uh, gallbladder in which T1B is the muscle involvement because it lacks the submucosa. So that we have to remember that T2 is involvement of the muscle layer except for the gallbladder. T3 is tumor pen penetrates the subscrotal connective tissue without invasion of the visceral peritoneum or adjacent structure we will understand uh, this uh, in more elaborative uh, manner uh, in the subsequent part of the video tutorial t4a is tumor in the serosa visceral peritoneum or uh, that is uh, it is perforate the visceral peritoneum t4b is tumor in the adjacent, uh, adjacent structures or organ and that i have already said that is liver diaphragm small intestine pancreas and spleen uh, lip prostations are similar as in the uh, esophageal cancer that is uh, N1 is 1 to 2, N2 is 3 to 6 and N3 is 7 and more. In the gastric cancer N3 is further divided to N3A and B and N3A is 7 to 15 and N3B is 16 or more lip nodes. So this is the pictorial representation. T1A invades the lamina propria. Uh, we have highlighted the different layers that is uh, Lamina propria, muscular mucosa, submucosa, muscular propria, uh, subsurosa, and surosa. <coughs> so T1B is when it invades the submucosa, T2 is when it invades the muscularis uh, propria. Whereas T3 is defined as tumor that extends to the muscularis propria into the subsurosal tissue. So this is important part that this is important part that we have to understand that T3 is invades the subsurosa but serosa is not perforated the, if the serosa is perforated that is the visceral peritone perforated then the tumor will be t4 so uh, it invades serosa and here when, when the uh, t3 inv is invading the lesser momentum but the momentum layers are intact it is still uh, t3 stays because the uh, there is no breach the um, uh, sub uh, the serosa layer is reflected on the leaf of momentum so I hope this is clear from this picture that if the tumor is invading the uh, lesser curvature and the lesser momentum but there is no actual perforation it is still T3 tumor. Again uh, distal extension into duodenum does not affect the T3 state that means if the tumor epicenter is in the stomach and it is in involving the D1 part it will be still labeled as T3 tumors. If there is a perforation of the visceral peritoneum covering the gastric ligaments or the omentum, as I said, then the, it will be classified as a T4. I hope this point is clear to you. And if the, if the adjacent structures of the stomach include 
the spleen the, again this part i have already spoken about transverse colon liver diaphragm pancreas abdominal wall adrenal glands kidney small intestine and rectal brain these are the adjacent adjacent structures and involvement of these structures doesn't make the tumor uh, metastatic but it will be t4b so now we will discuss about the japanese classification as i have already said there is slight variation in the japanese classification of gastric carcinoma and it is often asked in the competitive examination also so uh, we have to uh, learn this thing memorize this thing by heart so uh, let's uh, start